All right, let's move on to the people and players we are watching this week. Every week we go around. Brez, you can go first because, you know, normally you pick Chuck Schumer. You I broke my streak last, last week. week. I broke my streak. I'm going to take Pramila Jayapal the, uh, from, from Washington State. She's the head of the Congre Congressional Progressive Caucus, a, a power player in the House. They are supporting this COVID bill. This is a big deal. I mean, it's got the CPC seal of approval. This thing will pass. Um, so to me, that's, you know, Jaya Paul gets a, you know, she's somebody I'll watch this week. Jackie, you're up. Okay. I picked a weird one because I was just trying to be different. So, uh, <laughs> admittedly, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm picking, uh, Louis DeJoy, the, uh, postmaster general who is testifying again this week, uh, in an appropriations, um, subcommittee. Uh, obviously he's been under a ton of fire. Um, there is, Oh, they're openly trying to approve two mem more members of the board so they can replace him. And the guy just gets dragged every time he appears in public. Um, so uh, it just, it, it, it seems to be, set, to be uh, setting up for another very interesting hearing with him um, at the center of it. And the post office is important to a lot of people sure. and there are a lot of things that like are wrong everyone. right now. Everyone, <laughs> like everyone, everyone. So uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm watching him and um, yeah, how he fares. It's a good pick. I like that, Jake. You're up. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi, right? Uh, we've seen we've seen her push through any number of big bills over. We've all been covering her for for longer than we'd care to admit, probably. <laughs> um, and uh, this is her time. This is, I mean, she's going to deliver for a president of her party. And by the way, we were talking about this beforehand. I mean, and and during the program, this there's there's things in this bill that prog some progressives are not going to like. And there's no and keeping that anger at a low boil instead of at a high boil, <laughs> like what Boehner and Paul Ryan always did poorly, if you ask me, is like they give these people the stage to have like two hour Absolutely. meetings where they don't complain, Absolutely. and then they'd wonder why shit was why <laughs> things got off track, um, you know. And like Pelosi doesn't do that. Yeah. Pelosi is very good at containing these brush fires to very small areas of the field, so to speak, so. I like it. All right, I'm gonna go with Pete Buttigieg. I think as we look forward, I'm super fascinated to see how he is used by this administration. What, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about how he's gonna be able to be very instrumental in this. How do they use him? What role does he have? Can he bring people along? Does he go out in, into some of these states where there is crumbling infrastructure? He can speak to conservatives, go on Fox News in a way that a lot of Democrats can't. Probably uh, so one that's, of the best communicators in the part in the Democratic right. Party, I'd say for yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. Um, so that is who I am going to watch.